Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, this episode I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, pedestals uh, in the paving world. Well, pavers are, are, are such a big part of uh, what's going on in the construction industry lately. Um, there are paver pedestals going on on almost uh, every project in downtown in, uh, in basically uh, built up areas. Um, people are knocking down single story buildings, um, single story lots, and putting in mid rise uh, apartment buildings, um, you know, retail, all that stuff. But pedestals are a great way to add to your hardscape or add some hardscape to a footprint that you don't have the ability to have much hardscapes. So, anyways, uh, Oracle Block, uh, Oracle Pavers, Oracle Hardscapes, and the commercial side. We carry uh, bison uh, pedestal products. Um, so along with bison, um, the pedestal stuff that we do do is uh, we do concrete, uh, a two by two uh, concrete paver, um, a one by two concrete paver, 12 by 24, 24 by 24, uh, if you want to uh, pick them apart. Uh, but we also have porcelain. Uh, porcelain is another part of it. Um, a very, uh, very cool, uh, the cool thing about porcelain is the color doesn't fade. It's a little bit more costly up front, but they're basically stain proof. Um, so they have a really cool low maintenance side to them. Um, so now we have uh, a concrete product that works on a pedestal uh, paver. We have a, um, a porcelain type product that works on a pedestal paver uh, uh, application. And then we also have uh, Ipe. Uh, because we're a bison distributor, we have Ipe. Ipe, Kumaru, and a couple other species of wood that uh, we can do. Um, guys, when you're specking Ipe, please, please, please make sure um, everything's crystal clear. But... Uh, if you need the FSC uh, treated wood, uh, the, the the registered uh, where it, basically where it came from is what F FSC. It's uh, basically a registration. They know exactly where it came from, uh, so um, it's for sure sustainable. Um, anyways, uh, if you need that, just make sure you put EPA FSC. Um, a contractor called me the other day, wanted to bid EPA, and uh, I asked them, "Well, do you need FSC?" There is a huge cost cost difference. Oh yeah, I did need FSC. Um, man, you're going to really put yourself in a bind if you, uh, don't ask for that because there's a huge cost difference, um, uh, in, in doing the FSC, uh, the FSC type EPA wood. Uh, but we do do the, the, the two by two, um, EPA, the two by fours, um, I think there's two by sixes. Uh, there's a few different sizes. Um, anyways, we can get your price on all that stuff, but, uh, back to the roof deck or the pedestal side of it. Um, you're starting to see people build up and they are, uh, looking for ways to, um, have some hardscape or have some usable space for clientele, for their um, apartment owners or for their um, tenants. Um, so they are using uh, basically roof decks to, to do this. Um, putting pools on roof decks. Um, the cool thing about pedestal stuff, um, if you guys have ever seen it, they're a little, you know, the little plastic stilts and the pavers sit on top. It's basically a floating deck. It covers all the waterproofing on flat roofed um, applications. So. The idea behind pedestal use is um, being able to walk on a flat roof or to enhance uh, the paving look, um, hide hide uh, conduit, hide uh, you know HVAC stuff, uh, plumbing for pools. Um, I've seen pedestals from uh, an eighth inch off, an eighth of an inch off the ground, uh, off the roof, up to um, I think I've done like 30, 35 inch uh, pedestals. Um, but they were the, the really tall ones were basically going around a pool deck and they just met up to the coping of the pool um, But all the, the plumbing and stuff for the pool was accessible uh, by doing that so pick up a few uh, Concrete tiles these uh, floating tiles basically and uh, you can get access to the roof and the waterproofing and all that stuff a lot of times you'll see roof decks they just get uh, they get poured uh, uh, basically a topping slab over the waterproofing and if there's ever a leak in the roof or something along those lines it's a much bigger problem to fix because there's concrete there not just a tile that you can level it off and, and repair. Um, so you're able to walk on these you get more usable space uh, but uh, there's there's quite a good amount of uh, uh, reasoning to use uh, uh, pedestal roof deck materials or applications um, so you know concrete that's probably the cheapest uh, porcelain's probably right after that and then uh, your epay can be uh, a little pricey but it's just it's a really cool look um, it's basically getting that wood deck um, uh, look on on top of these so they do get used not not a ton but they, they they're 
there is an application that, that they do get things like lost a lot. Um, uh, to me, I like the I like the EPA look. So if you guys ever have questions or want help with that, um, we can help you out at Orco, and we have the ability to uh, sell that to you, distribute it. So, um, anyways, to get back to it, uh, with pedestal stuff, you're getting more usable real estate at the end of the day. Um, so you got a flat roof up there with some HVAC stuff, and it's just useless. Well. The next guy puts in the same building and then all of a sudden he's putting in a pedestal roof deck application. So with that, he's got more usable space. Guess what? This guy owns a hotel and now he's throwing weddings. You know, he's he's doing uh, parties, events on his roof. He has more rentable real estate than the guy next door. Uh, guy next door built the same building but didn't do that and uh, he's missing out. So uh, once again, you know, that's that's some of the some of the places you'll see uh, pedestal roof applications, you'll see them on apartment buildings, um, you'll see them on, uh, you know, hotels, hospitality. Uh, the cool ones I see is, you know, downtown San Francisco, they do these little outdoor patios, so the restaurant comes right out to the sidewalk, and then um, where they normally have metered parking, they'll, uh, this, they'll get uh, permits from the city to do a small pedestal application, and they extend their patio, rope off the patio, and now they have a cool little you know, wine seating area, you know, for the afternoon and you're just kind of uh, basking in the sun and enjoying the outdoors a little bit more. Um, something this year that we probably all are just jonesing to do is just be outdoors a little bit more. So, you know, there's a lot of good reason to use pedestal roof application uh, type materials. So, uh, you know, keep us in mind if it comes up and uh, we'll help you. Uh, uh, Bison's a good supporter of us too. So uh, they go along right along with us and in supporting you guys and helping you build that project and getting it built and uh, whatever we can do to help. Um, so basically at the end of the day, you get more usable space. Um, you get to make use of a roof deck that you probably would have never had uh, uh, any kind of use for before. Um, and then there's, you know, the ranges there, you know, they're all over the place. You can do, you know, short, tall, um, you can correct slope. Um, these things are all just engineered so cool to uh, really help you construct your, your project. Um, so there's pretty much nothing you can't really do. I've seen them done in steps, stairs, you know, all kinds of different things. So anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions on pedestal, um, that's kind of it in a nutshell, but it's just a really uh, neat, more um, uh, modern application that's coming up more and more. So um, it's just, it's a bit expensive. You guys want to talk about price a little bit? You're going to probably be, you know, over from from high high 20s to um, all the way up into the the mid to high 30s a square foot for a pedestal roof application. But once again, you have usable real estate, um, so you could you could have some parties, throw some events, um, have some extra revenue uh, coming in by uh, by doing this, or just uh, you know making it that much more unique uh, of a building than the guy next door who has you know four foot sidewalk outside that, you know, people can sit out and smoke on that. And that's, that's pretty much it. Or, you know, walk the dogs on just, there's no entertainment area. There's no uh, beautification part to the actual project, but putting this in and then all of a sudden you have patios or roof decks that uh, are usable and uh, you know, little, little parks for the dogs, uh, little places for kids to play. Um, just, you know, keeping them off of the actual sidewalk and, and inside the building a little bit more, or once again, more leasable state and, uh, real estate, uh, more usable real estate that you can use uh, at the end of the day. So they're great applications. Um, Bison's a, 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 makes a great, great product um, and uh, they're super durable. Um, the concrete products are probably on the cheaper side. Uh, so if you guys are looking for a very inexpensive, um, typically the two by two is uh, the 24 by 24 is the most uh, economical application uh, in, the, in the concrete option. So um, if you guys are trying to spec it out or if you need help with anything, uh, kind of rule of thumb to give you a little bit of uh, additional linear uh, edge restraint pedestals where you'll use a little bit more along the edges. Um, for every tile that you use uh, up to 24 inches, um, it's basically 1.2 um, pedestals per tile. So if you're trying to figure out how to bid this or trying to figure out um, the actual pedestals, um, you basically put down one pedestal per corner, uh, being that one corner supports four sides of four different pavers, it's one one-to-one. -one. So you have one pedestal per paver is really what you're doing. Um, if you ch start changing the uh, patterns, it can alter that. Um, if you start going to bigger 
concrete uh, pavers or bigger porcelain, uh, you will uh, start increasing and putting additional pedestals in the centers um, along the edges. Um, so, you know, once again, most economical is your um, is your two by two. It's the least amount of pedestals that you'll probably use. Um, those pedestals aren't exactly always the cheapest, so you want to be uh, cost conscious. Um, your patterns will change the cost of the application itself. So just keep all that in mind, um, but a very, very cool product and just something else I wanted to let you know that Orco does. Uh, we brought that on and we are now just trying to cater every possibility we can to our customers and to make sure that they know uh, all the materials that we have. Um, so, you know, we got concrete for your pedestal roof deck applications. We can help you with the pedestal. Uh, we bring in the pedestal from Bison. Um, we're a distributor. So whether it be an eighth an inch off the ground or you know, 35 inches off the ground, uh, we got your back there. Uh, we can take care of it all. Um, you know, there's there, there's the ePay. Uh, if you guys want to get into the wood, uh, we distribute that stuff. And there's also porcelain. We do carry Del Conca uh, porcelain, which is a very uh, high-end uh, Italian porcelain. Uh, great following, great products. Uh, my favorite personally is they have some reclaimed wood looks, which is super hot right now. Uh, it's a real, real cool look. Um, everybody's using reclaimed wood so uh, that's that's something you can uh, look into and, and who wouldn't want that reclaimed wood look that's just gonna last forever and not fade so you know porcelain's a great application yes once again you're paying a little bit more for the actual material up front but maintenance is quite a bit lower maintenance has a cost um, I have a, another podcast that's out there that goes over maintenance and uh, if you ever want to you know get into that a little bit more it's helpful um, just to understand under new construction and existing construction Everything has a maintenance. Uh, least maintenance would be burnished uh, pavers and uh, porcelain. Porcelain is probably one of the least amount of maintenance products that you probably have to use on a cardscape application. So pay attention to those. Don't think they're so, so expensive when they, uh, the maintenance budget goes like this and concrete has a maintenance budget. So that has a cost. Um, so just keep all that stuff in mind and uh, you know, now you know kind of where you might see them or where you might be able to use them, uh, you know, pool decks, roof decks, all that stuff, um, commercial buildings, retail, uh, hotels, all that stuff. It's a great, great application for all those. Apartments is probably the one that's just everybody's banging out apartments right now, and uh, a lot of them have pedestal roof deck applications. So uh, there are those. Uh, there's also a couple of specs that you can do with a parging spec where the pavers are actually sitting on an aggregate. Um, Instead of uh, instead of sand, I'm not a big fan of sand set roof deck applications, and that's for a conversation later. Or if you have any questions on that, shoot me an email, and, and I'll, I'll tell you why. But um, anyways, this this segment was really about pedestals, so um, we're we're a firm believer in pedestal applications, and uh, we got all the materials you need at Orco to make your pedestal roof deck application work, um, along with the help. So we have some great guys, a couple engineers. Uh, Want to hate a uh, uh, Gabe? All those guys are they're real helpful. Um, Abdul, uh, we just brought on a new guy. Jaime, uh, Karen, everybody here at Orco will, will all support you uh, on the architectural side for specifying it. But if you need help building it on the construction side, uh, give me a shout. Uh, Juan's pretty versatile too, and uh, yeah, we're uh, we're here to help you. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of uh, pedestal applications in a nutshell. If you guys need any help. Um, if you want some pictures or um, you, know, you can always Google, uh, Google is a great thing for, uh, for doing that, but uh, just, you know, roof, uh, roof deck pedestal systems, uh, you can probably find all kinds of things. So we are a local supplier that supplies basically the West Coast. And so if you ever have a project uh, Midwest or, or, or out in the West, uh, we can help you. Uh, we'll be glad to help. So thanks a lot and I uh, hope everybody stays well out there and we will see you soon. If you got any other topics you want to address, um, just attach it to uh, uh, send a little link to me that you know something that that you're you're concerned about or something that you would like to know about or uh, some questions that you might have. Um, I know I've had a couple about sand lately, so maybe we'll do one on uh, bedding sand uh, here real soon. So I've seen some uh, some bad some bad applications with that. So maybe that's on the agenda for the next one. But if you guys got any uh, items that you want to discuss, uh, put them down and I will for sure get to them. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Take care.